Hi, my name is Max. It's my pleasure to tell you today about my 2018 Nikki Rotor Aviation Calithia gyroplane. I've had the pleasure of flying this aircraft for over 200 hours and I can honestly say it is the most fun and spectacular gyroplane that I've ever had the pleasure of flying. It's an all carbon fiber monocoque design. It's obviously fully cowled. All the body components are carbon fiber along with the tail as well. This has 915 Rotax power. 912 and 914 engines are also available. The blades are 27.9 feet. They're aluminum blades provided by Arthur Trendak. The rotor head itself is a proprietary design by Nikki, and they manufacture the majority of the parts for this aircraft. Let's talk a little bit about Calithia performance with the 915. Standard conditions, sea level, 200 pound pilot, full fuel, takeoff roll, no wind, is generally under 300 feet. Climb, you can see up to 2,000 feet per minute climb rates. Economy cruise is 75 to 85 knots, burning about 4.8 gallons per hour. High speed cruise is 85 to 95 knots, burning closer to 5.8 gallons per hour. V &E is 105 knots and endurance on economy cruise 15 gallons of fuel is just about three hours. Service ceiling for this aircraft is in excess of 15,000 feet. The engine itself makes full power up to 15,000 feet and that's 141 horsepower for five minutes and 135 horsepower continuous because it is a turbocharged and intercooled Rotax 915. I'm sure that you could go above 15,000 feet. Uh, you just won't have full engine power, uh, but the rotor has sufficient lift to go higher than 15,000 feet uh, with the 200 pound load. As I mentioned before, this is an all carbon fiber monocoque construction and design. The aircraft itself, the maximum takeoff weight is restricted with the light sport FA restrictions to 1,320 pounds. The aircraft weighs empty 800 pounds. It has a useful load of 520 pounds with the 915 power plant. That equates to about 100 pounds for fuel, full fuel, uh, two 200 pound individuals, and another 20 pounds of baggage for a total of 1320 pounds. One of the best features of this machine is the fact that it is really two machines in one. It provides both an unparalleled and closed cockpit experience in terms of visibility. Calithia in Greek means the best view. And really this gyroplane without question has the best view. The other great thing about it is you have the comfort and convenience of an enclosed design. And this unit actually comes with a heater for comfort. But when you want, you can release the quick release pins, remove the doors, and have a completely open cockpit experience. The left door obviously comes off as well. That's actually also a safety feature because when you fly enclosed, you can egress from that side if you needed to leave the aircraft rapidly and couldn't open the right side of door. Along with the amazing view is um, the fact that the passenger sits slightly elevated above the pilot. There's full dual controls and uh, unbelievable fit and finish. These are carbon fiber seats wrapped in beautiful leather. You can see the stitching and the attention to detail really is unlike any other gyroplane manufacturer in the market today. I'd like to demonstrate now the easiest way to get in and out of this aircraft. I'm 6'2", 200 pounds, and it's actually quite easy. Just simply open the door. And I come up here and I'll just, for stability, I'll gently grasp the seat. I'll get nice and close to the aircraft and then I'm going to put my left foot in first. I just put my left foot in, kind of bend down, pivot in. And it's simple as that. Now I'm going to close the door so you can see that. And then opening the door is a snap. And then to get out, I just usually put my hand here on the keel or the body and then step out. No problem, real easy. And for the passenger, it's actually even easier. Again, this is a really unique design in that it really is two gyroplanes in one. You have both the comfort and convenience of an enclosed machine and the utility and the enjoyment of an open air experience with the doors off. And I'm gonna demonstrate how to remove one of the doors now. It's very simple, you just unlock the door, 
you come up to the quick release pins, depress the quick release pin and remove it. And just put that in your pocket. And then you just want to make sure that you're going to support the door once you release these pins. So we'll take the other pin out, gently support the door and simple. And the door is very lightweight. You'd obviously want to make sure that you protect the door when you set it down. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to replace the door. Just going to simply set the door back in its frame, taking care to line up the hinges. So we want to make sure that those hinges are aligned. And then I'm just going to gently support the door with my knee. Got my pins ready. And my quick release pin is here. I'm going to depress the um, button here. Hopefully I'll get it to slide in. Sometimes you might have to just do little adjustments just to get it to go. That's the first one. And then the second one, same thing. Just depress it and slides right in. And simple as that. And then we just want to make sure that we remember to lock the door. Nikki Rotor Aviation offers several packages in terms of avionics. This is their top of the line package with the full Garmin suite. So you can see here there's a G3X touch with ADS-B in and out, full traffic awareness, you can see this target here moving. So the situational awareness of this particular package from terrain to uh, weather information to flight planning, uh, moving map and information about um, your target uh, destination to typical VFR charting and then information with safe taxi plates as well. And then full view with full attitude heading and reference. And then a the full engine instrumentation suite that obviously with the engine running, we've got EGTs, fuel, gallons per hour, fuel pressure, volts, amp meter, and then a coolant temperature. And there's also a fuel calculator, which is quite accurate within about 5% that gives you an accurate estimate of your remaining endurance. This is a really great suite. It has your full comms as well and uh, GPS. Um, there are other avionics packages available from more traditional steam gauges to Canardia glass panels and possibly even Dynon. There is a MGL rotor RPM gauge and obviously a compass and a backup MGL, which gives you airspeed, altimeter, and vertical speed indicator. So if you were to lose this panel, this critical backup instrument will be uh, sufficient to be able to get home. This particular model is equipped for VFR night. So we have navigation lights, landing light. Uh, you can also manually operate the cooling fan. There are, there are lights for the cabin that are uh, uh, red so that they don't destroy your night vision for operation at night and then very simple controls for the 915 or any of the electronic fuel injected Rotex engines you have lane A and lane B which basically function as your mags your main fuel pump your auxiliary fuel pump and then auxiliary power in case you had a issue with uh, your electrical power this can help power the fuel pumps uh, to get safely down on the ground for about 30 minutes there's also accessory power outlet, so you have a 12 volt power outlet uh, that can run your for flight uh, on your iPad or your electronic flight bag or charge a phone or run any kind of accessory that you like. Uh, the pre-rotation system is operated with a foot pedal and this is depressed and uh, it's really nice because it's a mechanical system. It doesn't use any pneumatics, so there's no air leaks that you ever have to troubleshoot. This also is a heater, heater for the enclosed cockpit. It's a heat exchanger, so there's no risk of carbon monoxide. This is a beautiful feature. This is a, a gust lock, so it actually locks the stick in position so when you're taxiing, so it's really nice and convenient for operation. So it holds that stick really solidly and makes taxiing on the ground uh, that much safer so that your hands are free to be able to operate, throttle in the brake, or do, do whatever else you need to do. Um, this aircraft is so quiet that I can actually, I don't need even to use a noise canceling headset or passive or active. I use a Clarity Aloft headset because it's so quiet. 
uh, which is another really nice feature um, if you if you like these headsets although Bose A20 or any kind of headset uh, with um, passive or active noise reduction is, is fine the aircraft also comes with a fire extinguisher which is a nice a nice feature as well um, there's beautiful beautiful fit and finished in detail uh, this is a carbon fiber seat that's wrapped beautifully in uh, very high grade, grade quality leather and you can see from the stitching it's, it's magnificent. Um, if we can get a little shot of, we can move back here, you can see the, the beautiful polished carbon finish uh, that's available. And I actually, I removed the um, stick boot here so that you can see the beautiful uh, workmanship. This is a wonderful design feature. You can very simply remove this second control with two quick release pins and we would remove the trim tab and then you can actually remove the stick so that if you had a passenger who you know didn't want to have the stick in the way or you wanted to have more storage you can do that and it very easily is simply replaced and then you just put the quick release pins back in and um, overall there's there's really not a better machine out there for what this has to offer